Former WNBA All-Star Chanea Gwumake asked the question, who was on your women's college basketball Mount Rushmore? I have to say Cheryl Miller. I remember hearing, and women's games weren't even really televised a lot back then, but I remember hearing about Cheryl Miller. This is before social media, but Cheryl Miller, look at her slapping the backboard. Cheryl Miller was the first uh, female basketball star that I remember. Turn around, fade away like MJ. Candace Parker? I don't recall 6'4", six, 6'5", six, handling the basketball like this before her. The stuff that she was doing with the basketball, we hadn't seen before. Two-time national champion at Tennessee, Candace Parker was absolutely dominant. Breonna Stewart. Now, now uh, again, like Candace, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, listen. She won a national championship all four years in college. Do you hear what I'm saying? Not only did she win a national title every year, she was the most outstanding player in the final four all four years. Yeah, Mount Rushmore. When you see this, you know who this is, right? Yeah, Caitlin Clark, definitely. I don't want to hear that she didn't win a national title. She led Iowa to back-to-back -back national championship games on a team that was not loaded and brought exposure at a level the women's game has never seen. Mount Rushmore. This is my Mount Rushmore of women's college basketball.